Science! Hey guys, welcome to Science This Week, and this one is really special. If you're a fan of this segment, you know that most of the time I'm talking about something crazy in space or underwater or a million billion years ago. And that's because I'm constantly looking at all the science sites and science journals and reading everything that's coming out, trying to find new discoveries and new topics to talk about for you guys every single week. Because I love talking about science. I've always been a fan of science. Even when I was a little kid, I used to just sit on my roof outside of my window and just look up at the stars and dream of one day being there. Now, when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of avenues for science other than just science class in school. And that wasn't really that much fun. I didn't get a chance to really flex that muscle. And I wasn't really as interested in science as I was in creative things like creative writing and and audio and video and that kind of stuff. Um, So I never really pursued science farther than just dreaming about it. But I've always been enamored by it. And I love learning more and more about new discoveries in science all the time. What's cool about the world we live in now is that it seems like science has become much more celebrated, especially by the younger generation. I never even had a science fair in my school growing up. And, uh, you know, you've seen them a thousand times on, you know, sitcoms and the like where they have to go to a science fair and somebody makes a volcano with baking soda and explodes everywhere. But It's really cool that a lot of schools are getting into doing science fairs and promoting, you know, interest in science at a young age. So this week, I got to talk to a student from LSE Middle School in Boonville, Missouri, Kaylee Austin. And Kaylee not only entered an incredible experiment that she came up with in her science fair, she used death wish coffee in the experiment. And I'm going to let her and her teacher tell you all about it right here. Thank you so much for uh, joining me on the science segment this week. And I want to introduce you guys. I would introduce you guys, but I want you guys to introduce yourself to all of our listeners and viewers out there. Okay. I am Kaylee Austin. I go to LSE Middle School in Boonville, Missouri. And I'm Lori Painter. I'm her sixth grade science teacher at LSE. Excellent, excellent. Shout out to LSE Middle School in Boonesville, Missouri. And uh, thank you, Lori and Kaylee, for joining me on the show today. And uh, the reason why is because I would, I want to say a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, um, I saw that you were in a science fair and you used Death Wish coffee. That's pretty crazy. Can you talk about where your idea for your science project came, came to be and what this science project even entailed? Well, so my dad drinks Death Wish coffee a lot. And so everyone was like, oh, you should do it to uh, see how it affects other people because a lot of our friends have drank it before and it affected them really like a lot, like their heart rate ran up a ton. So we decided that'd be a a good science fair project to do because we just thought it was really fun. So. Well, and and Doug teaches with us. He's our sixth grade social studies teacher. And so we kind of tease him that the Death Wish coffee is what's going to put him in the ground. So we wanted to see if it really would. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we don't we don't uh, we don't claim to be the world's strongest coffee for nothing. I'll tell you that. But um, (laughs) so can before we get into the meat of the science experiment, um, can we talk a little bit about the science fair? Do you guys do this every year? Is this like what, what, what does that entail? We do. It's the it's actually the 19th annual science fair, and so we've done it for 19 years. Um, and sixth and seventh grade both do it together, and so every year the students are allowed to pick any project they choose, as long as it doesn't harm humans or animals. So we were pretty sure this one was okay. It wasn't going to really harm anyone. <laughs> uh, pretty sure. Her dad drinks it every day. So, um, but yeah, we've done this for 19 years now. That's so exciting because, you know, one thing we talk about on this show every single week is science because I have loved science since I was a kid. And um, it's so exciting to live in the world in 2019 where people are excited about science again. You know, it seemed like for so long that really wasn't even part of the conversation. And now that it is and to hear that you guys have been doing this for 19 years, that is 
absolutely incredible. And I just want to clarify again, so the, when the kids pick their science project, it has nothing to do with the curriculum that year, nothing else. It's all from their brain. It is. It does deal with the curriculum and the fact that it talks about scientific method and scientific inquiry and how to do the steps of scientific uh, experiments, but they really get to pick anything that interests them because if it's fun for them, then they're going to uh, be more invested in it. That's awesome. So I would guess that you've probably seen some pretty crazy science experiments over the years. Yes, we have. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. Not all your run-of-the-mill volcanoes with baking soda and all that stuff. We actually don't allow volcanoes and baking soda. That's boring. Good. It is boring. It's been tried and true. We don't need any of that stuff. Okay, Kaylee, let's talk about this. So your dad drinks Death Wish coffee. So you, so is this where your idea comes, oh, I'm going to use him as a lab experiment? Yes, basically. So I just kind of thought it was fun because, like, all the students are like, you should stop drinking it. You're going to die because of it or, like, have a heart attack or something because – they think it's really funny, and they if they come in one day and he doesn't have his coffee drinking, they know that that class is going to be bad because he's always in a grouchy mood if he doesn't have it. And it's kind of, it's really funny. So nice. he, and nice. we had just a lot of fun doing it with the whole experiment. So so, so walk me through it then. You, you're, you're, you're testing the heart rate in your father on different cups yeah. of coffee. You use, did you just use Death Wish? Did you use different brands? We use different brands. We use um, Dunkin' Donuts, Death Wish, Folgers, and a Barissimo white chocolate. So we did different kinds to see how it affect your heart rate. Yeah, and different people. We didn't just do it on him. (laughs) That's good. That's good. How did you measure the heart rate? So we did it by his average resting heart rate. So first we just took everyone's average heart rate by putting it on their pulse and then taking the time. And then I think we did for a minute, right? Was it a minute? A minute? Yeah, it was a minute. And then we did it after 30 minutes to see like how it affected after 30 minutes. And then after that, we did 45 minutes. So to figure out how it worked. So. And and I'm I gotta say, Death Wish won, right? Yes, it had a really huge increase compared to the others, except <laughs> for in her dad. Yeah, my uh-huh. dad. It drop a lot, so we added up everyone's like heart rate, and then we found out like what the average was, and he made the average drop like a lot. So wow. That, so. I wonder if that's because he drinks Death Wish all the time. That's what we think. Cause when did you start drinking it? About three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago. So it's been in his system for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we've looked at different science studies too, uh, you know, at Death Wish. Um, we've actually had our coffee tested by Caffeine Informer for caffeine content and that kind of thing. And um, we have learned that that is a thing, uh, depending on not just the high level of caffeine, but coffee you drink every single day and the amount of coffee you drink every day, you, you actually build up a tolerance to it. And that's why yeah. some people, like your dad, will get a little angry if they don't have their coffee because... <laughs> Because it's actually, you, your body is actually reacting to not having that in your system, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's what a lot of people are like, oh, it's the reason why it doesn't affect you is because you have a tolerance to it and it is in your system already, so. Yeah, yeah. And so it sounds like the, the experiment was a success, um, and I heard you won an award for it. Yes, I got a silver in the award. I don't have it with me now, but... That's bu- the, I guess. It's hanging in your room, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she got she got second place over all of the sixth grade students in life science. Wow, that's so awesome. So I gotta ask on the on on your schooling side then, are you a fan of science? Um yes, mostly. I really like most <laughs> <laughs> your teacher's right there. Be careful. <laughs> I I I like it a lot. I think we have a lot of fun right now. We're doing like ions and magnetism and stuff, and I really like that. So awesome, awesome. Okay, so outside of the science realm, anything in the world, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an interior designer. Ooh, I love it. I love it. That's that's a, that's an exciting field, and I mean. There, that's 
becoming the norm now. I mean, there's so many television shows about it and everything else. My wife loves all that stuff. That's really cool. Well, I hope I hope you can pursue that and figure out the scientific reasons why furniture looks better in different areas of the home. That'd be pretty cool. There you go. Um, so, I, so what are you going to do from here? Are you going to keep testing experiments on your father? <laughs> we Most likely, yes. I think, what did we say we are going to do next time? Maybe not... Oh, um, we were doing, gonna do something else that had to do with like Death Wish Coffee still, but like maybe a different realm of it. Like all right, all right. We always love to hear more science when it has to deal with coffee because, like I said, we love science here at Death Wish Coffee. I don't know, I'm, I, I don't know if you guys heard or not, but um, because of this very podcast that you're on, I was as lucky enough to interview an astronaut very early on in our. In our um, uh, in our show, a retired astronaut by the name of Nicole Stott. She was uh, the first astronaut to paint in space. She spent 100 days on the International Space Station, and she said that when she gets done with a spacewalk, the first thing she wanted was a, a cup of coffee. So I made the joke on this show, you know, how funny would it be to get Death Wish in space and cut to last year. She actually made that happen, and our coffee went to the International Space Station. Oh, that's really that's cool. cool. Because we love science. So it's really cool that you're furthering science along with Death Wish as well. I gotta ask, you're not too young, but have you had have you had Death Wish? Have you tried it? No. Uh, I don't want to. You gotta start young. I mean, come on. I, I can say I've tried it. Good. Did you like it? it it tastes like really good coffee. There we go. That's what we try to do. We try to provide a really good cup of coffee. Um I am so excited that you thought to use Death Wish, you thought to test all of these lab experiments on your father, and that you won an award at your science fair. I am so, I think um, everybody that I know is watching and listening, all of our fans and, and, and followers here are proud of you and can't get enough of this story from your school. I, I'm gonna shout it out again, LSE Middle School in Boonville, Missouri. Congrats to all of you out there, and I think, can't thank you guys enough for talking with me. Thank you. Thank you. It was it was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure I'll be seeing more of your science experiments, and hopefully your interior design in the future. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. How cool was that? I mean, it never ceases to amaze me. First and foremost, working for a company like Death Wish Coffee, the opportunities and weird experiences that I personally have had working for this company. I mean, I mentioned it in that segment too. Obviously, you guys know our coffee went to space thanks to this very podcast. But getting able to talk to an incredible middle schooler, Kaylee, about coming up with this experiment that not only did she use Death Wish Coffee, but she used her father as a lab rat, I think that's genius. And that's really cool because we all know what coffee does. Caffeine, the reason why we ingest it is because it's a pick-me-up. It actually directly affects the levels of epinephrine in your bloodstream, in your body, otherwise known as adrenaline. And uh, depending on, you know, what you drink, if you're drinking a cup of coffee, you're going to feel that effect in anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, right? Um, but it affects everybody differently. And that's why so many studies have been, have been done on the effects of caffeine. It, depending on how much coffee you drink a day or how many other products that you're drinking that contain ca caffeine, energy drinks, soda, chocolate, even tea, a lot of these things cre have a lot of caffeine in them. So depending on the cumulative amount of caffeine that you put in your body per day, not only can affect how you feel the effects of caffeine, but how it affects your body. That's why so many people complain of not being the nicest person before their first cup of coffee in the morning because you're actually dependent on the, on the chemical of caffeine. You become dependent on it. And, uh, you know, you'll get a headache or you'll get nauseous if you don't have it, if you, if you drink too much of it. Personally speaking, I've yet to find that level of too much coffee, <laughs> but uh, um, that might, I might be biased because I'm working for a coffee company and I drink coffee all the freaking time. But... I just love that our coffee is used in a scientific way with actual results with the younger generation about science. It's all of the best parts of this job being brought together, and it was just 
It was such a joy to talk with Kaylee and her and her teacher this week on the science segment. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too, because, you know, like I said, so many times I'm dealing with out of world discoveries or crazy, you know, archaeological finds that are cool to talk about and, and, and learn about, but we don't really feel as connected because it's some scientist in some part of the world publishing a paper or making this discovery. And, and uh, it, as, as exciting as it is, it's even more exciting to talk to someone like Kaylee, who's using science in a practical way and happens to be using the world's strongest coffee as well. So I can't get enough of that. And we're going to keep doing this every week with uh, more exciting science topics every single week right here on Fuel by Deathcast. 